Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today I thought we'd take a look at the Pilfering Swarm mod. Now this is a bit of a weird one because to get it you have to either, well you've got to be max rank with either New Loka or Cephalon Suda I think was the other people who had it. Where is it? There it is. And this mod is actually really useful, and it only costs 25,000 rep anyway, but obviously couldn't get it from Cephalon Suda because they still hate me. This mod, by itself, has a 100% chance of dropping an additional item when you use it, so they can drop loot and then this will smack them and they'll drop more loot. What I found really interesting is if you put Intensify in, just intensify it adds 30% chance of the loot dropping so it's now 130% so if you max out uh, the two other damage mods ah, transient fortitude and blind rage sorry got distracted um, this will go up to because mine aren't maxed 184% uh, max Chances are, so not only will they, it, when you kill them they'll drop loot but this will then make them drop loot again and any damage on top of that so if you take that out that should total uh, the 84% which I thought was pretty weird because there's 81 and there's 30 um, that's a bit more right there than 84 but I'm just going by what the wiki says because if you add them up that's not maxed, and that's not maxed, and that's not maxed, and instantly that's over 100, so that in there as well, that should be over 200% chance there. But it just says, with the power strength maxed, it'll be plus 184% chance, so it'll be an, an extra 84%, which means you can get up to 4 item drops from enemies using this, and lots of power strength. It does make it a hell of a fun mod, but... God, it's a power haul. So, come on, extra loot. Energy everywhere. It would be nice if every time it hit the floor, it kicked out loot, but it doesn't. This augment is really useful. Um, of course, it would probably be a lot more useful if it wasn't for the fact that everybody is running around trying to steal each other's kills. I have to admit, players that do that do annoy me sometimes. I even told them I'm busy over here. No, wait, that was the different squad. Okay, my bad. The only, well, the biggest problem I should say I've actually come across with this is that right there. I now have to wait 20 seconds before I can activate this again. So it will only kick out the items once when it slaps them after the die. It's just the waiting between actual pulls that is kind of a pain in the butt. And waiting, and there it goes. And it never goes where you expect it to. But it is spitting out a really nice amount of loot. Uh, that'll be over here where I cast it the first time, will it? No? Yeah, it is. I can see it on the bloody mini-map, you silly game. Oops. I nearly missed that. That would have sucked. But it just seems that having it... Shortening the duration could be good, but at the same time could also suck really badly because if it's not there long enough to get the second uh, slap in, it's not going to kick loot out. Which is kind of the opposite of what you really want. And it does work against the flying things. See? Two items. So that's two lots of oxium. If I move in slowly, hopefully Carrier won't pick them up. One lot of oxium. Two lots of oxium from one uh, oxium offspray. Yes, I said offspray, not offspray. So it is working. It works really well. Having it with more strength does work really well as well. It's just the randomness as well. I mean, why is it on the roof? Why is it up there? <laughs> I didn't even look up there. Weird. It can pull out mods resources I like the fact more than anything else that it pulls power out quite efficiently so you can cast this quite a lot I just wish the Saren wasn't being such a pain in my butt right now and stealing all the kills slap and slap and slap 
That's the same mod. Um, I don't see any extra resources though. That's a shame. It does definitely work though, <laughs> all the time. It's pretty much a hundred percent chance of getting that uh, extra ammo or something, anything. It can be a mod, ammo, money, a resource, anything that comes out of them. I'm trying to get it against an Eximus style enemy just to see if it'll actually drop more than one Oberon part but I'm having no luck with that. Ew, that one's still got people stuck to it. But I mean it's just there's resources everywhere and if you can imagine this mixed with a Necro oh now I get an Eximus. God damn it. Didn't drop one. God damn it. I've got you, I've got you, don't worry. Uh this I like this mod a lot, but if you imagine it with a necro and a mag, I mean come on, there'll be mods everywhere. And if Mag has greedy pull, you could literally just sit all the way back here, casting it as they come in the door back there. See where everyone just died? Or over there, because they'll come in from over there as well. Because this ability I forgot what the name of it is, the Kraken. It goes where you're looking. Kind of. Sometimes you will cast this and it will just spawn randomly and it look like nothing's actually there. Go away. Stop shooting them in the butt. Mods, ammo, plastids, oh the resources. Really wish I could get it a mag to kind of uh come in and do this as well that would have been great oh. anyone else come on more and these guys are not actually dropping anything oh there it goes so if they don't drop something something will actually come out after it slapped them around a few times but with the energy thing on there the damage increase intensify such like that strength increase mods it does in fact increase the mod drops uh, got it to about three or four but just using intensify seemed to work just as well I mean these enemies were in the 30s so one drops enough you can go full-blown greedy mode if you really wanted to but that would be a bit much because if you fill up with nothing but damage mods, you're not going to have space for anything else. So anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.